what is the meaning or the significance of ar rijalu qawamuna ah right ar rijalu qawamuna ala nisa'i bima faddala allah read the full verse yes yes bima faddala allah ba'dhum ala ba'd no 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 al firis or or something something else I'll, i'll tell you because they are responsible for feeding them the reason is mentioned بعض ما بعض وما انفقوا ادز بتا بتا كده بعض ما بعض از देयर बट दैट इज द पार्ट आई हैड इन माइंड اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرجال قوامون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم على بعض وبما انفقوا من اموالهم ذس از ا فيري امبورتنت ورس and i'm grateful to you for asking because this is a common question raised in european countries in the west There is another verse in relation to women which says right wali ha wala wala hunna misul ladhi alayhinna as far as the rights are concerned that verse is very categorical that the right of men on women is only that much as the right of women is upon men <laughs> So if you misread this verse how would you remove the contradiction between the holy quran and how can you conceive the existence of contradiction in the holy quran that is a very clear unambiguous declaration that as far as the right of men it is exactly like the right of women, women upon men after that equation things should be understood differently be ma fadl allah means a constitutional superiority not superiority of rights and this i have been pointing out to all the western questioners wherever i go this question always follows me you know like the jinns you know <laughs> they never leave your back so wherever i go in the question of the session in europe in america canada all countries of the world they ask this question particularly the christian leaders uh cooks people on to 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 ask me this question and my answer is which i have already given you but i'll develop it further i say the hard fact is that you yourself are the witness of the fact that god has given men super- superiority in constitution and no uh, theory of equal rights can undo that constitutional difference when there is the olympics do the compet- competitors women and men competitors run in the same course for the same competitions <laughs> do they swim together ladies and men no chance do they play together in football in hockey in uh, what whatever you call it Foot, you see and and particularly american football have you seen <laughs> <laughs> you know it and you are witness against your own allegation that this is not what the quran means the quran means we have given them a superiority of a sort and you should understand where it is and the second thing is that they feed you and the hand which feeds is always superior yadul ya khairu min yadul min yadul sufla because they are made responsible for running the economic wheel and maintaining the family so they have a sort of superiority and you can't fight it out that is why i tell those ladies here who become independent and their husbands sometimes sit at home and let the women work and feed them as well i say they are according to the quran they have lost their superiority and you have gained and actually they become the dictators in the house if they earn so there is there are two types of superiority is mentioned here one is permanent nobody can change even the most enthusiastic leaders of women's lib the more movements of women can they equate man and woman and they say no it is against justice 
to have to make only women bear children. So this time we decide, we make a law that men are going to bear children. Can they make it? So this is that fadlullah. A superiority given by God which is fixed and none can change. And there's another superiority which you can change. As long as they, they uh, perform the responsibility, they, they discharge the responsibility which God has thrown over their shoulders to feed the family and to take care of their well-being, they of course hold a sort of superiority, not otherwise.